Hello everyone, this is Krishna from Sony. I hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to provide a run through of the interactive collab notebook for the task of object detection. The object detection is done via the Nabla implementation of Sentinet. Sentinet is a 2019 model for detecting objects by modeling an object as a single point and then regressing other object properties such as size, location, orientation and pose. I will demonstrate on how to use the Sentinet model for detecting objects in your own images. For a more in-depth view of the working and training of Sentinet, I request you to check out the code of Sentinet in the Nabla examples repository, the link to which you can find in the video description. This is the code base. So let us move on with the collab notebook. Before running the model, we will have to do some preparation and install some of the required libraries. We will clone the Nabla examples repository and install Nabla. As we want the code to run fast, we will download the CUDA extension of Nabla. And let us also make sure that the accelerator for this notebook is set as GPU. We can do that by going to runtime, change runtime type, and it is set as GPU. So let's just save it and move on. So it is downloading nabla and cloning the nabla examples repository so you can see it's done now let us move on so before running the model we will have to set its couple of parameters the first of which is the backbone architecture of the model we have two options for this one is the dlav0 the other is a resnet now it's not really an issue if you do not understand the differences between these two as both of them work reasonably well for a performance comparison of these two models we can have a look at the readme of the Sentinet implementation in Nabla examples. So here the performance is measured by this metric of average precision for which a higher magnitude represents a better performance. So we can see that the DLAV works better than ResNet as the average precision is higher for Pascal VOC dataset as well as for the COCO dataset. So let us select DLAV0 as the architecture. Now, as for to the data set, so we have two options again. So one is the Pascal VOC data set, the other is the MS Coco data set. Now the Pascal VOC data set has 20 object classes. So the model is capable of detecting these 20 categories of objects in an image. These 20 object classes include person, six types of animals, seven types of vehicles, six types of household objects. Whereas the MS Coco data set has 80 object categories. You can see here, so teddy bear, scissors, clog, book, spoon, knife, ski, snowboard, zebra, giraffe, dog, cat, etc. So since MS Coco's list is more exhaustive, so it looks more interesting. So we'll select MS Coco as our data set. So we'll set these parameters. Now based on these couple of parameters, let us download the pre-trained weight of the Sentinet model. And it's done in no time. So let's get to the interesting part. We will upload now our custom image on which we want to do the object detection. So choose file. I've already downloaded a couple of images for this purpose. So it's uploaded. Now let us rename the image for our own convenience. Untitled 128 JPG does not quite ring the bell, does it? So we have done that. Now let's run the model on our uploaded image. And the image I have uploaded is of a person on a snowboard. So let's see how it looks. So it's done. Let us display. And you can see that the model does very, very well. It has detected a person with a confidence of 90% and it has detected a snowboard with a confidence of 80%. Now you can see in this image, detecting the snowboard was not really easy because of the occlusion and the orientation, but the model does a good job to detect that. Now let's try for another image. So we'll have to run this cell again. Let's select another image. Having done that, let's skip to the results. And you can see it has done a good job for this image as well. It has detected a mouse, it has detected a keyboard and TV screen. So in this way, we can play around with any number of images with any number of different types of objects in it. So I hope I was able to make you understand this example and how to go around playing with it. Thank you so much for watching.